There were several, there were uh, two major uh, messages out of my talk. The first one was that we had a uh, a decade or more of uh, of research activity in patients with pancreatic cancer, and the majority of the clinical trials that we did were negative. They were not successful in getting a new treatment to the clinic. In fact, there are only um, less than a handful of studies that were positive. Uh, they were mainly with conventional cytotoxic drugs, and they did not really make a major um, impact in terms of survival of the patients. So even in this population of patients who we put on clinical trials, who usually are in good performance status, etc., we did not reach a median survival of 12 months. So that's one thing. The second thing is that all the studies that were done using targeted agents failed to produce any clinic clinically meaningful uh, result. So there was a failure. However, the way I approach it is that with that failure of studies and that negative outcome, there's also a major positive because it's telling us how to do our next generation of clinical trials. So from the negative, we learn, and that's the positive aspect of it. At this time, so the other part of my talk was about uh, what is out there which looks encouraging and promising. Keeping in mind that today, we are much better than we were five years ago because we know more about the biology of the disease. There's more work being done in understanding the biology, the genetics, the genomics, the molecular profiling of this cancer, which helps in designing new trials. Uh, but also there is uh, more availability of drugs that are uh, coming through the pipeline, the pharmaceutical industry and other developments. So we're in a, in a much better shape now to start to think of how we start doing studies that are going to be changing the landscape of therapy.